Hi friends, in this video I am going to explain how to create a boat and the water in low poly. I will explain in Blender. You can see here one of the cube is there, is the default and the one is the camera and one is the uh, light source and I want to select the first light and the camera. After selecting this, I want to hide this by clicking on the can observe clicking on the eye buttons there then after you can observe the cube by selecting the cube I want to pressing the G option for to move this and by clicking on the Z key and I want to move to the some of the position by using the control key exact on the top of the plane G and Z axis, Z -axis by using the control you can observe this is on the object mode Thereafter, I am selecting the cube. You can select the cube here also. You can hit selecting on this panel by selecting the cube and go into the edit mode here. You can observe by clicking on the edit mode and clicking on the edit mode and selecting the you can observe. I am selecting the faces here by going to the face mode and select the faces format the faces you want by clicking on the delete key or x key by clicking on the faces and selecting the faces again and deleting the faces after selecting the faces you can observe that one of the plane is left you can also create by plane by using the plane here on the object mode by clicking on the shift key on the mesh you can observe the plane also by default i am doing this you can observe the i am clicking on the save option here and then after i want to select the plane and you can observe here you can observe the item the item properties of this after you can see the location rotation scale and the dimensions here i want the median for this plane for to highlight this go into the edit mode for to this and select the item after selecting the item you can observe this is the median for to adjust this you can observe on the x-axis on the y-axis is there we want to give the zero option here like this you can move the z axis and the y axis on the median also this is the solution for to this i am selecting the plane and going to the edge here on the face is there on the edge selecting the lost edge it is selected you can observe by clicking on the zero on y-axis you can observe the plane is exactly coincide the coincidence to the cursor you can observe you want to give this a cursor location by using the shift s and cursor to selected you can give the edge location the cursor will shift then after go into the add mode here you can observe the add mode here here i'm selecting the mirror option and clicking on the y-axis you can see the different axis is there i'm selecting on the y only you can observe the one of the mirror object is created on the other side also then after i want to go into the object mode and select the object here and go into the edit mode and select the z option and go into the wide frame for two go into the vertices again i'm clicking on the views viewport here you can observe i'm on the viewport by selecting the vertices and clicking on the g and x key I want to reduce the size of the planes. You can see one of the plane is selected. This is not selected because this is the add mod fair. What are the operations are done on this object? Um, 
related to this object also the all of the properties will automatically it will take on the blender you can observe and i'm going to the object mode again you can observe i'm going to the jet and going to the again the solid mode i want to extrude this somewhat distance by clicking on the again edit mode and jet and the wireframe clicking on the option called seven and select these weights go to the g option x key some of the distance i want like this after that you can observe and go into the jet and solid option i want to mirror this again on the x axis also it is mirrored successfully you want to increase the angle of position go into the object mode and go into the edit mode select the vertices here on the top vertices for example i'm selecting the top vertices clicking on the g and the x key or y you can observe on by pressing on the y key you can increase the angle here see some of the angle is created then after i want to save this file and go into the edit mode and z wide frame mode i want to create a loops here by using the control r here i am clicking the four loops on horizontal direction on vertical direction i want the one loop for some more distance to the center then it is created then after i want to select this vertices and g and the x option pressing on the y and observe g and position this for to some of the distance like this and then after i am selecting this and g and the x or y option like this and go into z and solid mode you can observe the difference like this you can move the object then after i want to click on the g and x for this position and you can observe here is also like this there and putting on the g and the x proportion to this this is looking good then after i want to z and the white frame mode clicking on the seven you can observe clicking on the proportion you can observe the proportional editing select this and clicking on the g wherever the vertices you want select that vertices for example i am selecting this clicking on the g option you can get a different shape i am selecting this like clicking on the like this here also i want to make the different shape and the shape is created successfully then after i want to here also i want to increase the shape get in the solid mode you can observe the difference like this before here you can observe the the one of the gap is there why it is like this before going to give the proportion select the clipping option here if not and clicking on the z option 7 again g i want to increase the some what size of the boat and at the y frame in the solid option you can also the the size is looking good and after i want to select this and go to the g and this it is the gap is there and that's it and go to the object mode and see the views it is looking good okay 
and then after I want to go into the edit mode clicking on the save option after that I'm selecting the edge here by clicking on the alt key and clicking the face option for to create the face and then after selecting the vertices of this selecting the edge here and pressing on the G option like this you can create the here then after go into the vertices or you can go with the edge here and go to the G option of oh, it is there like this you can create and go to Z and white frame mode you can observe here some of the loop the space is there for to record this pressing on the G and you can observe the inject and the solid option can leave it like this not an issue get then the white frame mode again I want to fix this and clicking on the G For to remove this, for to fix this, you can observe. I'm trying this, and I am selecting the edge here. I'm clicking on the G option, and you can observe by pressing on the edge. It is going right, and after selecting the edge, I am clicking on the G option here. I'm selecting the control key to adjust this, and after selecting the face, delete this face, and you can observe it is completely the object is clear and go into the object mode you can observe doll is looking good then after I want to go into the object mode here I want to create a One of the cylinder for this I want to go into the by using the uh, edit mode you can observe the edge I'm selecting the creating the edge here I'm selecting the edge here after selecting the edge and go into the shift s and cursor to select it the cursor is highlighted here and after I go into the object mode shift a go into the mesh and give the cylinder here and scale the cylinder to somewhat small and clicking on the G option and you can observe that is not G and the Z option you can move somewhat to the top and then after I am going to increase the axis for this by using the item and give the Y 
z axis to somewhat distance 5 meter I'm clicking on the G in the Z option it just to the somewhat the distance like this after that I want to create the cursor here by clicking on the edit mode and select the face option shift S cursor to select it after the cursor is selected go to the object mode shift a mesh and go into the cube here scale this cube to somewhat small small then after give the y axis to some distance like this then after here create a one of the plane shift a and go into the plane give the rotation of the plane on the y axis using the control key you can adjust this and give the g some more distance and go to g and g on z axis here somewhat enlarge the scale by pressing on the y increase the size by selecting the plane i want to create a type of cloth here for this i want to go to the sculpt mode and I want to sculpt the plane somewhat and go into the object mode here and then after I want to select the plane and give the edit mode and give the subdivide option and give subdivide to 12 here for example it is good then after Select the proportional editing you can see by using the proportional can create a like a cloth by this I will show you and go on to the sculpt here and sculpt the object somewhat like this and go into the object mode here and give the edit mode and give the proportional editing by pressing on the G selecting on the object mode and give the shade smooth here now so it is looking like a cloth again I'm selecting the edit mode I want here and here and G proportional and here also G proportional X or Y you can observe by pressing on the axis it will appear and go on to the object mode here you can observe it is looking like a cloth then after I want to insert the cloth to direction of the x axis and constant 
pressing uh, G X and constant to the square rod clicking on the solid on the wire frame edit mode select all of these planes by clicking on the G proportional editing and constant to the this somewhat and go to the edit and go into the object mode and selecting the G And clicking on G and Z axis over below. Okay. And clicking on G and the X key or the Y. Pressing on the Y. Can adjust this. Like this, you can observe. Then after, I want to shift this all the object to here by pressing on the G and the X option. I want to here the glass. You can observe. I want to create again by using the Shift D option. Shift D by duplicate this by pressing on the X or the Y or Z key. You can observe. I am pressing on the Z option. Again, I want to scale this to somewhat small. Again, I want this Shift D and I want to place this as well as here also for some of the distance. Pressing on the G, pressing on the G and pressing on the X to some of the distance like this. You can observe. I want to increase the size of the this rod and by using I want to give this 7 meter here I'm pressing on the G and the X key or Z key adjust this some of the top here I want to move this by pressing on the G and Z key I want to move at the top yeah, this also I want to move to top or you can give like this and I want to by using the shift D shift D and pressing on the Z key I want to place this here by pressing on the S key scale it somewhat larger size want to increase the size of the rod to some more distance and I want to create the light on the top then I'll, I will show later then after uh, the type of cloth is created here I want to select this and go into the add modifier tool and give the add modifier to solidify and give the increase the thickness value to 0 0.20 and see the thickness of the boat is of the wooden boat is created then after i want to go to the mat cap here the depth of the field and the cavity i'm selecting for to visible the all of the objects and i want to give the back face comes on the back face clean off and here I want to create a edge by selecting the edge here the edge is there 
on this edge I want to shift this cursor to select it I'm selecting this edge shift this cursor to select it and I want to create a cube on the object mode and shift the cube I want to I'm pressing on the Z axis and scale this somewhat small and G and Z axis place exactly onto the bottom and increase the G S or you want to increase the on the X axis you can increase some more distance here and move this somewhat on the X axis like this and then after you want to increase the S on the Y Z axis some more distance some more distance I increase it then this I want to create another cube here by pressing on the shift and the right click button the cursor is there you can observe by clicking on the object mode shift there go to the cube pressing on the S pressing on the y, S Y axis S on the X axis increase some of the distance and pressing on the S on the Z axis decrease the thickness value so like this the thickness value is decreased and after it is looking good you can observe and after I want to create a loop cut here by using the edit mode control R give the loop cut here control r give the loop cut here and the control r give the loop cut here also control s and give the control r and give the loop cut here and control r give on the vertical directions as well as horizontal directions and again I want to create a loop cut control R on top of this I can observe I want to create a four windows here I want to give a another loop cut here for to select the faces and delete the face and delete this face also But deleting the face select the object object mode in the control a scale option control a and after going to the edit mode and select these and keep on the I pressing on the I keep on the E extrude the distance inside here also I extrude I by pressing on the I key you can also this is reduce it some distance and extruded this somewhat like this and this one on the I key and extrude this and you can observe the extrude similar to this uh, all of the object is created and after I want to create a Spear by pressing on the edge here. You can also go into the edit mode. Pressing on the edge here, also you can give the edge and object mode. Shift A, go to the mesh and go to the UV spear. 
come to the S uh, small UV sphere. I want to reduce the size of the UV on the S. I want to reduce smaller and S smaller. On the G option, this is the Z key. Place it here. The sphere of the shift D move the sphere on top of the here also. Some of the G can place here. Pressing on the sphere and G and top of this. I'm pressing on the shift D again and place it here also. On the G on the top. You can see all of the components is created then after I want to give the materials to this and texturing and shading and the lighting and the rendering is pending and this is the modeling part the total modeling part is created you can observe on the screen you can off the camera and on the camera and the light on the default you can observe on the some more shading part here how to adjust the shading also i will show you and how to, how many lights you want how much sunlight you want i will show you here then after i want to create the lights how to create this for example i want this light to move the g option and the x option here and exactly on the top i want this light on the middle of the building after that I want to create a one sunlight here go into the object mode then shift A I want the sunlight sun option I want to adjust to x axis G on the z axis on more distance and this is on the right position and give this yellow like this the sun rays are coming like this you want to adjust the line against like some more distance you can give this you can also by pressing on the G on the X Y option you can move the X Y option and again give the sunlight here and center to the Like this you can adjust the light wherever you want you can see exactly the shadow effects are you can observe it is more shadows is there but to fix this you can adjust the lighting on the one side here you can observe the sunlight the exact onto the edge.
like this you can adjust this is the shadow effect and the lighting effect is looking like this and then after go on to this after this you can observe the light effect is completed and after i want to give the material property to this i'm selecting the object here and selecting the base color first create a new material you can observe the here one new material is created i'm going to the base color and select the color to this and after give the same material to this top also after it came the give the for example i want to select the faces edit mode and go to the faces i'm selecting this face by selecting the face and selecting the face and selecting this face the four faces are selected and after i go to the p option and select the selection i separated this i will show you i'm going to the object mode these four windows are separated after selecting this give the new material here i want to go into the principal b is due to emission and give the color to somewhat lightish yellow and before this go into the evv rendering we are in the evv and select the ambient occlusion and the bloom effect and skin space reflections and you can observe on the material what is there i'm going to the simplify you can also simplify this these are the properties we should select and go into the shadows give the 2048 px and again go into the material property and give the strength increase the strength strength of the light if increase the light strength you can observe the i'm giving to 35 you can also give the different light effect to this like hello you can observe you can also decay you want to select the material property give the new material to this i want to select the another material for the light is light color and you can observe this light effect and also increase the g and the x option z option to increase the sum of the top for two decreasing the shadows want to increase the strength decrease the strength and also decrease the strength to 16 and then after i want to give the all of the speeds to the same light effect we go to the light give the material to this and you can and you want to select the select the new material to this select the block and give the new material and give the principal bsdf2 emission again give the color to somewhat what you want and give the strength to increase the strengthness of the light and observe and here also i am creating the same on the light effects going to the material and material 03 here and select this and select the material 03 and i want to i want to select this material to 
so on material properties and go on to the new material and give the principal bsdf and base color to somewhat lightish black and give the metallic property i want it look like iron part and go into the roughness value decrease the roughness value and you can observe this is look like a metallic part and shift select the material for to all of this and select the material property and select again and give the material property here and select here and give the material property here and select this also and give the material same 004 property to this you want to select the new material here give the base color to somewhat uh, somewhat lightish like this and select all of the parts and give the same material 005 for this and select the part and give the 005 and select the cylinder parts also give the same effect material first material and select the here also with the same material like this you can observe the total of properties all properties are material properties completed and after we will create a one of the water effect here on to the bottom for this i want to create the edge here after going to the solid mode and give the edge select the object and give the edit mode here select the any of the edge here to say this selected shift s cursor to select it and i want to now so i'm selecting the edit mode and select the edge here for example i'm selecting the edge by selecting the edge mode and also the age and go into the shift s cursor to select it and go into the object mode shift a give the plane here and scale the plane like this for so to increase the scale and then after what to do and give the add modifier to this displays and give the clouds material to this by clicking on the clouds and give the edit mode and shift subdivide this to Well, okay, it is okay. And go into the object mode. You can observe the difference. You can see this. For to adjust this, for to fix this, give the strength increase, decrease the strength on the add modifier. You can observe on the displays option and give the shade smooth. and so the you can create the water effect like this after selecting go to the material property and select the material property select the plane and give the material new principal bsd to and go to the glass bsdf and give the color to blue color light blueish 
and give the roughness value, decrease the roughness and I will always 2.3.4 from somewhat 3.50 and also it is somewhat look like a water and go on to the color option here some of the colors some more give the roughness value somewhat increase the roughness value my water is created and of this you can observe the low poly water here like this you can create the ship or boat and low poly and also then after going to the EVV we want to render this viewport render image on EVV you can observe like this you can create the EVV rendering and after go to give the camera view by pressing on the zero option it is the camera and scale the camera for example you want the position of the camera by pressing on S key G on X and again G on the Z axis by pressing on the zero key pressing on the G key you can adjust the camera location here like this you can create the different types of color pressing on the G key you can adjust the camera again go into the viewport render image you can give the viewport render image you click like this and also adjust the camera somewhat larger by going to the 0 and the S and G and the X again G and Z to the position of this and again I am clicking on the G option I am clicking on the 0 key see it is good you can also adjust the camera location to somewhat like this and go to the shift alt key you can observe the all of the features shift alt spacebar and I want to off this I will show the shift alt spacebar you can move by using the shift key like this you can rotate also you can also can on the lights you can on the lights like this you can create the different types of flow poly models in blenders with different types of materials you can also give the materials um, different types of materials uh, from out from importing and exporting the materials also this is a simple beginner tutorials i'm explaining the low poly in the low poly also you can create the uh, realistic models with not going with the cycles we will render the images and evv also it will look as a realistic models uh, you can observe it is looking good in the top view you can go into the top view the top view is like this like this you can create the different models in blender uh, here in this tutorial we covered the modeling, texturing, shading and the rendering all you can observe.